What's going on? I just saw Smith and Hugo Garcia running through the hallway. What? What's happening? Send my horses, my entire army, to Dothan. Tonight. I'm Miss Jean. Join me on a trip to Discovery Mountain, where the air is clear, clear enough to hear your imagination, and where every day is an exercise in faith. Join me for today's expedition in Discovery Mountain. Welcome back. At the end of our last episode in this story series called The Small Stuff, a group of Discovery Mountain students and staff were still at Reader's School in the city. The tour was almost over when Gracie realized something was missing, her borrowed tablet. There's someone else who lost something borrowed in the Bible, and God worked through the prophet Elisha to help him. We'll hear that story today. So are you ready to exercise your faith? Let's join Gracie and the others in today's episode called Borrowed. Gracie, do you want me to call your mom? No, don't tell her that I lost the tablet. Well, I just thought hearing her voice might make you feel better. No, thanks. Principal Reader, what's going on? I just saw Smith and Hugo Garcia running through the hallway. Hugo says he isn't in trouble. But... No, he isn't. They're looking for Gracie's tablet. Oh, you borrowed it from Sam, didn't you, Gracie? Uh Uh-huh. Okay, here's what we do. I know my way around this school like it were the back of my hand. I do too, Ms. Garcia. Of course. Layla, you and Addison search the classrooms on the right-hand side of the hallways, and then check the gym. Got it? On it. Come on, Addison. I'm right behind you. Cyrus, you're with me. Yes, ma'am. We'll search the classrooms on the left-hand side of the hallways and the administrative offices. All right, let's go. Oh, uh, Superintendent Gomez, I, uh, I I didn't mean to take over. Is this all right with you? Oh, it's more than all right. Good work, Isabel. Thank you. Reader, does the girl want to call home? No, no, I offered. (sighs) I need to put my feet up. Here, take my office. I'll stay with Gracie and Piper until the tablet is found. You sure sound confident that it will be. I trust these students, and I trust God to answer her prayer. Dear God, please help me find Sam's tablet. Please. Hmm, I I see. Well, thank you. I'll be in your office. Gracie, Piper, can I get you anything? No, thanks, reader. All right. Well, now we're just going to have to wait patiently. Maybe we have time for a story? A story? Yeah, yes. Good idea, Piper. You know there's a story about someone else who lost something borrowed. Oh? Yes. What happened? Oh, well, let me read it to you. Let me find it now. Too bad we're not at home. Then we could hear the story in our imaginations. Oh, well, Piper, I've discovered that my imagination works just as well here at my new school. Really? Should we find out? Yeah. Now, before we hear the story of the borrowed item that was found, let's start at the beginning. The beginning of what? More like the beginning of who? The prophet Elisha. God called him to follow in the footsteps of a great prophet named Elijah. So, how'd it begin? The prophet Elijah was a man of God. He followed him all his life, and God helped him to choose his replacement. God told him who it would be. Elijah. Yes, Lord? Elisha, the son of Shaphat, of Abel Meholah, you shall anoint as prophet in your place. Elisha? I'll find him at once. And Elijah did find Elisha. He was working in his father's farm, plowing the field with a team of oxen. Whoa, slow down now. Elisha, son of Shaphat? Whoa, easy now. Yes, that's me. I am Elijah. The prophet of God? Yes, and God asked me to give you this. 
Your cloak. You shall be prophet in my place. Oh, but I, I wouldn't know what to do. Come with me and I'll show you what God has called you to do. Go with you? Oh, please let me kiss my father and my mother and then I will follow you. Go back. Mother, father. Elisha, my son, what is it? The prophet Elijah is here. And he gave you his cloak? Yes, I am to follow him, to learn to be a prophet. I see. I'll miss you and father and the farm. Well, our prayers will go with you. But keep watch, my son. King Ben-Hadad and the Syrians are ever present in Israel. Yes, I'll watch for the Syrian soldiers. But never fear, God is ever present. Well, first we feast, and then we'll say our goodbyes. And so it was. Together, Elijah and Elisha visited the schools of the prophets. In these schools were men who followed God and exercised their faith in him. Elijah, the school here in Gilgal is doing well. Where shall we travel next? Stay here, please, for the Lord has sent me unto Bethel. As the Lord lives and as your soul lives, I will not leave you. After the school in Bethel, God called Elijah to the school in Jericho. And God had a special plan for Elijah during this visit to Jericho, one that God told Elisha and the student prophets about in advance. Prophet Elijah, Elisha, welcome back to Jericho. Omri. Come, we will prepare a meal for you. Just a little water is all I need, Omri. Please, sit in the shade. Elisha, I thought I heard your voices. Lael, how are you? I am well. And your family? Abra and my sons are well, Elisha. God is good. Yes, yes. Uh, Elisha, do you know that the Lord will take away Elijah from over you today? God has shown you what will come to pass for Elijah? Yes, he's shown me and others. Ah, uh, and me also. Please keep silent. Elijah is approaching. Stay here, please, Elisha, for the Lord has sent me on to the Jordan River. As the Lord lives and as your soul lives, I will not leave you. Everyone, come out and see. Elijah and Elisha are here. The Lord showed us that he would take away Elijah today. Let's watch and pray. Look, Elijah is taking off his cloak. And he's rolling it up. Oh. Now he's striking the River Jordan. <gasps> Omri, do you see it too? Yes, Lael. The River Jordan is parting. They're walking on dry land. Elisha, ask, what may I do for you before I am taken away from you? Please let a double portion of your spirit be upon me. You've asked a hard thing. If you see me when I am taken from you, it shall be so for you. What? What's happening? The chariot of Israel and its horsemen. Elisha witnessed a miracle. A fiery chariot appeared in the sky. God took Elijah up in the chariot. In awe, Elisha walked back alone to the school of the prophets. Let's go to Elisha. Yes, at once. Wait, look, he's walking to the River Jordan and... He's rolling up Elijah's cloak. Could God do the same thing for Elijah that he did for Elijah? He's striking the water. Again, it parts. The spirit of Elijah rests on Elisha. Let's run to meet him. Elisha. Elijah disappeared. There are 50 students here. Let us go and search for him. You shall not send anyone. Oh, but please, Elisha. What if he's in the mountains or the valley? Oh, very well. Send them. Omri, Lael? We don't need to search for Elijah. The Lord took him. You are both men of faith. Now come, I need my rest. The students searched and did not find Elijah. 
God had taken him to heaven in a whirlwind. Soon after, Elisha's work as a prophet began. <laughs> My sons, please be careful that you don't fall as you're climbing those rocks. Yes, mother. We are being careful. Mind your mother now, boys. You heard your mother. Yes, yes father. father. Elisha, Omri, please come and eat the food Abra has laid out for us. Abra, thank you for the delicious meal. Ah, oh, the day is too lovely. <laughs> I had to draw you all away from your studies somehow. You are a wise woman, Abra. Thank you, Yahweh, for this meal, humble as it may be. Amen. Amen. I'm hungry. Son, manners. Please, Prophet Elisha, go first. Um, Prophet Elisha? Yes? May we help you? I am a leader in our city of Jericho. How can I help you? As you can see, our city is pleasant. Yes, it is. Our school here in Jericho is thriving. The city has revived since the time of Joshua. Ah, uh, yes, when the walls crumbled. Yes, but our water is not good. It is bad. Hmm. Bring me a bowl, a new one, one that hasn't been used before, and put salt in it. Yes, at once. We'll save some food for you, Prophet Elisha. Yes, go and do what you must do. I'll join you. Here comes a servant now with a bowl of salt. Excellent. Please take me to the source of water for the city. Yes, yes, at once. Elisha, what will you do? Well, I'll cast the salt into the water. And? And the rest God will do. Here we are. Thus says the Lord, I have healed this water. Is the water safe to drink again? Yes, it is. God has healed the water. Give praise to the Lord. Elisha, that was a miracle. It was. I've been thinking. Unlike Leo and some of the others, I don't have a family. Well, perhaps one day you will, Omri. Perhaps. I would like to assist you, travel with you, if you like. Hmm, I see. Well, I leave for the school in Gilgal at first light. You're welcome to join. I'll be ready. And so Elisha cared for the schools of the prophets just as Elijah before him had. The class at Gilgal challenged my thinking on the... Omri, what is it? I'll investigate. <laughs> it's only an old chain blowing in the wind. We have to be vigilant. The Syrians are at war with us. Omri, I know where King Ben-Hadad and the Syrian soldiers are. You do? The Lord has shown you? Yes, and they aren't anywhere near Jericho. I see. King Jorm would do well to know that information. Each time God shows me the whereabouts of the Syrians, I send word to King Joram. Oh, well, that's reassuring. For you, but not for King Ben-Hadad. <laughs> we're, we're passing Lael's home. Let's stop and greet him. That sounds like a good idea. Omri! Abra, what's wrong? It, it all happened so quickly. He, he was perfectly well. Abra, what has happened? Lael has died. Oh, no. You know that he reverenced the Lord. Yes, he was a great man of faith. And, and well, and the creditor is coming to take our sons away to work for him. No. There must be another way to pay your debt. What do you have in the house? I have nothing but a jar of oil. Hmm. Jar of oil. I see. Go. Borrow jars and bowls from everywhere. From all your neighbors. Empty jars. <laughs> all right, Elisha. I'll go. And do not gather just a few. Now go, boys. Help your mother gather the jars. And, and what do I do with them? You and your sons shut the door to the house and then take the oil from your jar and pour it into all those other jars and bowls. I don't understand. God will show you. When they gathered as many jars and bowls as they could, Abra and her sons did as Elisha instructed. Mm -hmm. 
Son, bring me another jar. There are no more, Mother. Oh, my oil jar is empty. Look, all the rest are full. Stay inside the house. Do not open the door for anyone but me. Mother, where are you going? To see the prophet Elisha. Prophet Elisha? Yes? I, I did, just as you said. And I have more jars and bowls full of oil than I can count. Go, sell the oil and pay your debt. And you and your sons live on the rest. My sons? My sons are safe from the creditor? Yes, they are safe. It, it wasn't possible. All things are possible with God. Praise be to the Lord! And other miracles happened in the schools of the prophets. Nothing was too small for Elisha to ask God to help with. Thank you for allowing me to borrow it. I'll take good care of it. Omri, are you ready? Yes, I borrowed an ax. Good. We need all the help we can get to build an additional room onto the school. God has blessed us with more and more students. There isn't room for us. Let's go down to the river and cut down some trees to build with. Come on, everyone. Prophet Elijah? Mm, yes. Oh, you all look very busy. We're going down to the river to fill some trees to build onto the school. May God go with you. Elijah, will you come with us? Well, all right. I will go. Now to try this axe out. Hmm. It isn't in the best condition. Omri, what are you doing? This axe isn't in very good condition. I'm going to face towards the water. If that axe head flies off, it'll land the river. Well, better than landing on you. <laughs> good thinking. Come on now. Oh, no. Omri, what's wrong? My axe head fell into the water, and it was borrowed. Where did it fall? Right there. This is just what I need. A stick? Elisha, the axe head is iron. It's impossible to lift out with a stick. Impossible? Watch and see. Prophet Elisha, you just threw the stick in the water. Why? Look. The axe head, it's floating. It's, it's iron. How? Omri, reach in the water and pick it up for yourself. Elisha, this is a miracle. But it was just an axe head. Omri, nothing is too small for the Lord. Yes, yes, I see that. Let's keep working, everyone. God is with us. God used Elisha to perform many more miracles. But Omri never forgot the miracle of the axe head, or one that happened some years later. And it began with the king of Syria, Ben-Hadad. Just as Elisha had explained to Omri, God showed him just where the Syrian king had his armies. And Elisha warned Israel's king, Joram. Sorrent, come here at once. Um, yes, uh, King Ben-Hadad? Will you not show me which of my people is a spy? For the king of Israel? Um, none, none, my king. Then how do the Israelites know my every move? There must be a spy. Um, no, my lord, O king. Uh, uh, Elisha, the prophet who is in Israel, tells the king of Israel the words that you speak in your very bedroom. Where is this Elisha? Uh, it is said that he is in, um, Dothan? Send my horses and chariots, my entire army, to Dothan, tonight. Meanwhile, Elisha and Omri were indeed in the city of Dothan. Oh, that was the best sleep I've had in days. Omri, come outside, please. Yes, Elisha? The Syrian army, the city is surrounded. Yes, they arrived throughout the night. What will we do? Do not fear, for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. I... But we're a small city, and that's a whole army. Lord, I pray, open his eyes that he may see. 
Open my eyes? Oh, Elisha. You see, Omri? The, the mountains are full of horses and chariots. The king of Israel's army? No, God's army. God is with us. Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. The soldiers see us. Lord, stop them from seeing who I am, I pray. In the name of the king of Syria, come with us now. This is not the way, nor is this the city. Follow me and I will bring you to the man whom you seek. And God heard Elisha's prayer. The Syrians were blind to who he really was. Yes, we will go with you. Elisha, where are we taking the Syrian army? To King Joram in Samaria. You're leading the enemy right to the king of Israel? Omri, those who are with us are more than those who are with them. Yes, yes, I'll have faith. And after many hours, Elisha led the Syrian army right into the king of Israel's city. And then God opened their eyes. And where is the prophet? <gasps> it's you. And we're in Samaria? Guards. King Joram, you are safe. Elisha, you brought the Syrians into my city. What should I do with them? Should I punish them? No, don't punish them. Then what do you recommend? Set food and water before them that they may eat and drink and then go back to King Ben-Hadad. A feast for the enemy? Yes, exactly. Servants, please prepare a great feast for our, uh, our visitors. Elisha, has God told you that this will work? Yes, he has. We won't be bothered by Ben-Hadad again. Elisha. Yes? Please, stay a while. I'm sorry, but I cannot. I have to get back to my schools. The students are waiting. Omri, please stay and enjoy the feast. As the Lord lives, and as your soul lives, I will not leave you. <laughs> then let's begin our journey. God does really care about the small stuff, even broken axe heads, doesn't he? He does. And he sent all those good armies to that city? To the city of Dothan, yes. And the invisible armies that Omri saw, what do you think they were? Invisible? Oh, were they angels? They were. Whoa. Crazy, crazy. Hugo, look what I found. Sam's tablet. Oh, thank you, thank you. Well, I should say we found. Actually, Diaz found it. Where was it? On top of one of the lockers. That's weird. He probably dropped it and one of the high schoolers put it up there so it wouldn't get stepped on. Ah, oh, my students have become very responsible. Oh, thank you, Reader. Thank you so much. Gracie, there's someone else I think deserves your thanks more than me. You're right. Dr. Smith? Gracie, you are reunited with your tablet. Thank you for finding it. You're welcome. You got it back. Nice work, Dad. Does this mean we can go home now? Yes, let's get ready. Now, everyone, check your pockets and your backpacks to make sure you have all your tech. <laughs> Good idea. Now, line up so that I can count you off as we go to the bus. Don't want to leave anyone behind. Ms. Garcia? Yes, Gracie? I just want to say thank you to everyone for your help. And uh, thanks, Dr. Smith. Oh, now I can't get used to that. Everybody, just call me DS. Yes, that was my idea. Credit goes to me. Hugo, really? Credit to Hugo. Now, come on, everyone. Let's go home. Bye, everyone. Come back and visit anytime. As the field trippers had a quiet bus trip, things were about to become anything but quiet back in Discovery Mountain. Oh, Chaplain Jake. Oh, God! Somebody's home! Jake, is everything all right? Oh, well, I've been going all over town and nobody's home. Oh? Yeah, or, or they're sick and can't help me. The flu bug. What's the matter? Well, Sam and I are working on a, a, a project. Judge Taylor, right. 
And it's super, super secret, but uh, I'm never going to finish on time. Oh, I, uh, <sighs> Jake, you're going to be fine. You're hyperventilating, but it's not serious. Okay. Okay. Hold your lips together like this. Like you're blowing out a candle. Like this? Yes. Now take slow breaths. Oh, hey, that's helping. Good, good. Now, are you feeling a bit better? Yeah. What do you need help with? Well, you see, I have 11 trees I've got to cut down by tomorrow. 11. Please, can you help me, please? Director Doug, Jake is in full Jake mode, isn't he? (laughs) Yeah, he is. Even after Tara calmed him down so well. Eleven trees? <laughs> yes. What in the world is his super secret project? Well, if he needs that much help, I don't think it will be a super secret project for long. No, you're right. <sighs> One crisis straight to another. Yeah. It's great news that Gracie found the tablet, though. It is. And she seems a lot more accepting of DS as a result, too. Yeah, DS. I like that name. Dr. Smith, Mr. Smith, it was a bit confusing. (laughs) I agree. And, you know, it sure was good to listen to the Bible story with Reader. Yeah, the story of Elisha. There were a lot of miracles in his ministry. He was a man of faith, and no matter seemed too small to pray to God about. Including Omri's borrowed axe. A lot like Gracie's borrowed tablet. (laughs) Yeah, right. Now, as far as miracles go, the axe head was a small thing, but, you know, it wasn't a small thing to Omri. And God knows when things matter a lot to us. He does. And Omri witnessed some big miracles, too, like the mountains full of an army of angels. Oh, I could see them in my imagination. How about you? I could. And the words that Elisha spoke were powerful. Oh, that's right. 2 Kings 6 and verse 16. Um, Let me see if I can find it. Do not fear, for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. Well, it sounds like Jake could use an army to help him. It does. We'll have to listen to our last episode in this story series to find out what happens. Yes, indeed. And we'll see you here next time. You've been listening to Discovery Mountain, where the air is clear, clear enough to hear your imagination, and where every day is an exercise in faith. To listen to other episodes and to send us a message, visit us online at discoverymountain.com. Discovery Mountain is a production of The Voice of Prophecy. Join us again next time here in Discovery Mountain, where every day is an exercise in faith. Borrowed was written by Jean Boonstra and post-produced in Ontario, Canada by Douglas Bruce and Danny Columby. Recorded in Loveland, Colorado, Bowmanville, Ontario, and remotely from around the world. Mm-hmm.